Listen up, engineers, analysts, and all those hundreds of other employees that are working at the rideshare company Uber under this smiley dude here, right? Dara, getting a lot of gray hairs there, sort of like zebra, zebra mustache going on there, a lot of black and gray. But let's get down to business here, right? So I have a message for these engineers and these employees. Um, enjoy your salaries while they last, right? Because I want to remind you, A, who pays your salaries. Yes, it's us, the drivers, the, the food delivery people, right? You get these cozy salaries, including this dude, um, because we out there hustling 24 hours a day, Right? And if it wasn't for us, you guys wouldn't get paid. So, you know, maybe at the next meeting you can stand up for us, right? The people that actually bring in the money so you can get paid. Maybe you are, are willing to, to grow some balls as engineers and stand up to these fools and say, hey, listen, why are we not taking care of the drivers and the salary and, 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 the, and the food delivery people, right? But I want you to enjoy your salary while it lasts. And I'll tell you why. Because um, there is an uprising. There are a lot of strikes and protests all around the globe, here in the United States and abroad. And people, gig workers, the drivers and uh, food delivery drivers who actually bring your money in, um, are done with the poor treatment, right? And we're pushing for, you know, minimum wage rights, etc. everywhere. It's, it's, it's a whole movement that you engineers, that you... Trash executives cannot hold up, right? We're coming for you. You know, we, we want a part of that action because this is not a one-sided show, right? So um, here, let me um, jump in here. Uber has drastically slowed down hiring, but it's still paying top dollars for tech talent. We analyze hundreds of H-1B visa applications to get a sense of how much Uber pays employees. They bring a lot of these engineers in from other countries like India. The ride-sharing company offered two distinguished engineers nearly $350,000 each as a base salary. I am not gonna call you a distinguished engineer because you get paid by a thug to write algorithms that hurt millions of people. So in, 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 in my view, in my eyes, you are not distinguished, right? You're engineer trash that is basically screwing over the people writing the algorithms, the people that are bringing in the money to pay you, right? So if, if you enjoy that type of karma, keep on working there. As a recession looms, Uber has dramatically slowed down on hiring, even freezing hiring altogether in many departments. But the company is still battling to hold on to its top tech talent and aiming to be near the top of the heap when it comes to employee compensation. Why can't they hold on to a lot of this tech talent because the engineers and the analysis are um, realizing that they are on the Titanic, right? And it, it, it cannot be a joy to work for this company when you read what they are all about. So a lot of these people, I think, are just doing this short temporarily and then moving on to the next jobs. A major component of Uber's compensation comes through giving employees stock grants last quarter the company spent 470 million in stock based compensation expenses that's up from 272 million in the same quarter last year so while i read that i want to remind um the executive trash nelson chai tony west dara koshashawi and those people even the people at lyft right that you have drivers that have done 25 30000 trips right they are the soul of your company. They bring in the money. Why don't you take care of these people in the same way? Why don't you incentivize them with stocks, right? Um, I mean, would you want to lose someone that's done 25,000 trips for your company just because you are starting to come, uh, cut back on their earnings, and not keeping them safe, etc., right? You need to empower people, especially drivers and food delivery drivers that are bringing in the money. So 
and, and that every company that I've worked for, every company that I have run, I am a huge, huge believer of empowering and incentivizing people. Oh, you want to work? You want to put in the hours? Here's the pathway. It gets better and better and better, right? You just bring out the best in people, right? This company, these exec executives are doing exactly the opposite. They do not know how to treat or compensate or, you know, reward those individuals that are bringing in the money. But salaries are also a big part of how the company pays its employees. Although Uber does not share how much it pays employees, it is required to disclose salary offers in work visa applications submitted to the United States Office of Foreign Labor Certification. Insider uh, comb data from the office which authorizes hiring non-US employees then publicly releases the data. Insider dug through the hundreds of disclosed salaries that represent engineers, managers and more. Uh, the analyzed salaries from the second quarter of 2022 mainly represent workers in California, Washington and New York. The highest paid people in the data uh, are two distinguished, distinguished engineers in California who um, were each offered 345000 while the lowest paid person, the lowest paid person that, that we pay, really, the drivers pay, uh, is a data analyst in Illinois who was offered $56,000 and $56,700. Uh, here's a breakdown of uh, what Uber pays many other employees. The broad categories are taken from filings by the Office of Foreign Labor Certification. Roles are listed below only if they were at least two candidates. When you are done checking out the data below, take a look at Insider's big tech salary database. So this fool here, Sandeep Jain, I've done a video about him before. Uh, senior analyst, financial risk management, 114,800 to 132,800. I wanna remind these individuals who is paying your salary, right? We are the drivers. Uh, operations research analysts, you can have a look at all the numbers. I'm going to read them. I just want to remind all these operation research analysts, you know, earning up to $130,000, $157,000. Who pays your salaries? We do. The drivers and the food delivery drivers. Management analysts. Um, here they are. Up to $171,000, $141,000 for product operations manager. A sales strategy and operations, 171,000. Senior product operations manager. Whoever you are, the senior product operations manager, I'm talking to you. We, the drivers and the food delivery drivers, are paying your salary. At the next meeting, you may want to stick up for the drivers and the food delivery drivers. Market research analysts and marketing specialists, performance marketing manager, whoever you are, he or she gets hundred up to $153,000. It is us, the drivers and the food delivery drivers that pay your salary and this smiley fool, Dara. I call him Triple D, Dara the drug dealer, because he has already gone into marijuana now as well. So um, computer and information research scientists right up to $207,000. Senior machine learning engineer, $246,000. Who's paying your salary? Us, the drivers and the food delivery drivers. You know, picking up the food, taking them to the clients, picking up people at pubs that are drunk and driving them home. In comes $40, $50 for that fare that we do. Company takes $25. We get $25. Of that $25, a lot of that cash is going your way. Never, ever forget computer and information system managers. Never, ever forget who pays you the salaries, right? And it's about time you idiots over there start sticking up for us, right? Because we're sticking up for you. If it wasn't for these millions of drivers, you would not get that. Software developers and engineers, the same thing. Industrial engineers, product designer, up to $169,000 we are paying your salary. Software developers and applications. Uh, for example, here you have a senior staff software engineer. We are paying for that $289,000. The drivers and the food delivery drivers. 
software developers and system software, um, senior systems engineer, 185,000, senior software engineer, back end, 240,800. It is us, the drivers, who are paying you. Miscellaneous, this fool needed to go a long time ago. I mean, this guy is serious a problem. He's one of the executive trash members. His name is Andrew McDonald. He doesn't do any good for drivers and food delivery drivers. Accountants and auditors get a shitload of money. Actuaries get paid too much. Marketing managers, 199,200. Who pays it? Us, the drivers. Stat statisticians, a lot of cash. Data scientists, data analysts, applied scientists, senior applied scientists, we are paying your salaries. They are, there they are, I'll leave the link. So why am I making this video? Um, I just want you to get a brief idea uh, where all our hard work is going, right? Uh, and that they're constantly raising the bar for these guys, right? Basically having them analyze data, write the algorithms to screw over hardworking drivers and delivery drivers, right? Never ever incentivizing drivers, never ever issuing stock to drivers. And when I say drivers, I mean food delivery drivers and rideshare drivers, right? With the same family, right? But what is this company doing for the people that haul in wheelbarrows of cash every single day? Nada. Niente, nichts, niet, nothing, absolute nux in Holland, nothing, right? So you guys need to realize that your privileges, right, um, are paid by us. And it's time that you guys over there and girls, wherever you are, even with your visas, even if you're a guest in the United States, I want you to realize that um, even with your H-1B visas allowing you to enjoy this beautiful country, it is us, the drivers and the food delivery drivers that pay your salaries. Never, ever forget that, right? And one day when you return overseas to the Philippines or to Russia, Ukraine or India, wherever you were hired from, never, ever forget who paid your salaries. It is the drivers and the food delivery drivers that did that. Thank you.